Hi there, I'm Marie Morrigan and I've been involved in leading worship in local churches now for over three years. I want to share with you one of my favourite verses. It's Colossians 3 verse 16 and it says this, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. This verse really came alive to me in a new way during lockdown. When I was meeting with an online group almost daily at certain points, and we were singing the Psalms and they were so vibrant and so real. And of course, some of us, because we were in, the, in lockdown, <laughs> so Lord, you are my refuge and my strength. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All of these sounds were so relevant, but also it was because we were sharing them with one another. And sometimes people were, you know, I was sometimes playing and, and worshiping live. Other times people were just, you know, typing up prayers or sharing songs of praise on our page. But because we were doing it together, we were actually teaching and admonishing one another with all wisdom and allowing the word of Christ to dwell richly among us. That was a real unexpected bonus of lockdown. But now that we're back meeting together, I am so grateful for being able to worship with, together with the congregation again. I'm singing to God with gratitude in my heart that we can be together and, 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 and worship and experience the presence of God together and, and sing spiritual songs together. Yeah, it's, it's such an amazing and incredible blessing. But I want to bring what I've learned forward and, and encourage each of us to share and to admonish each other through the sounds and through the songs that we love and through the, yeah, all, all, the, the, all the verses of the various hymns, because that's how we allow God's word to dwell richly in our hearts and among us. And it allows that gratitude to rise up from deep within. And so I pray for you all today that as you go around, you will be humming and singing spiritual songs, hymns and psalms, and that the word of God will dwell richly in you and among you, in Jesus' name.